Narrated by Urwa. The Prophet peace be upon him asked Abu Bakr for Aisha's hand in marriage. Abu Bakr said but I am your brother. The Prophet peace be upon him said, You are my brother in Allah's religion and his book, but she, Aisha, is lawful for me to marry. Narrated by Abu Huraira. The Prophet peace be upon him said, The best women are the riders of the camels, and the righteous among the women of Quraysh. They are the kindest women to their children in their childhood, and the more careful women of the property of their husbands. Narrated by Abu Burda's father. Allah's messenger peace be upon him said, Any man who has a slave girl whom he educates properly, teaches good manners, monuments, and marries her, will get a double reward and if any man of the people of the scriptures believes in his own prophet and then believes in me too, he will also get a double reward. And any slave who fulfills his duty to his master and to his lord, will also get a double reward. Narrated by Abu Huraira. The prophet peace be upon him said, Abraham did not tell lies except three. One of them was, when Abraham passed by a tyrant and, his wife Sarah was accompanying him, Abu Huraira then mentioned the whole narration and said, The tyrant gave her Hajar. Sarah said, Allah saved me from the hands of the Kafir, infidel, and gave me Hajar to serve me. Abu Huraira added, That, Hajar is your mother, O Banu Mayasama, the Arabs. Narrated by Anas. The Prophet peace be upon him stayed for three days between Kaibar and Medina, and there he consummated his marriage to Saifaya bint Huye. I invited the Muslims to the wedding banquet in which neither meat nor bread was offered. He ordered for leather dining sheets to be spread, and dates, dried yogurt, and butter were laid on it, and that was the Prophet's wedding banquet. The Muslims wondered, is she, Safiya, considered as his wife or his slave girl. Then they said, if he orders her to veil herself, she will be one of the mothers of the believers, but if he does not order her to veil herself, she will be a slave girl. So when the Prophet peace be upon him proceeded from there, he spared her a space behind him, on his she-camel, and put a screening veil between her and the people.